All right, everybody, thanks so much for sticking with KUM. I'm Jason Salas, and we appreciate you watching either on KUM TV or on YouTube. Half a day to you and yours, and happy holidays. Well, we have a great show for you tonight. We've got another installment of Remax to tell you and yours how you can use the information passed along to you about real estate. Plus, we'll visit the talented kids from the Junior Achievement Program and see what products they've come up with. But first, the Giving Tuesday campaign is one that we get involved annually here at KUM. We're very, very proud to give back to the community that gives so much to us. And our friends at the Guam Fire Department heard that we were getting involved once again this year. And you know what? They called us up and said, hey, we're totally into it. We want to get involved too. How can we work? So I've got my friends Rika and Chris here with GFD, and we are going to talk about the Pancakes for People project. Mm -hmm. Not only is the letter P prominently <laughs> <laughs> featured, it's very alliterative, but it's also a fantastic concept. So half a day and happy holidays. Happy Thank holidays. you. Happy okay, holidays. so Chris, tell me all about pancakes for people. Well, um, we all love to eat, so... Um, Simple as that. <laughs> we got this idea um, actually through watching KUM Evening News. Um, we pitched this idea to our fire chief and he was all aboard. And so we just ran with it. And, um, and so this is what came about. Well, tell me about it, Rico. Um, basically, what's happening is we want to do something more than target those you would think is tar targeted during a charitable event, you know. Um, we want to target the general population of Guam, the hardworking men and women. So what we're going to do is go we're going to be at the Aganya intersection where the library is, and we're just going to hand, hand out plated pancakes to everyone passing by while supplies last. But, you know, we just want to provide that breakfast for everyone, you know, how hectic a morning can be so that's all we the, just want to put a smile ready on someone's face there's something Why about not? pancakes I, I don't know <laughs> i don't know what it is about that particular food but it really lets people know that you care it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a very emotional food mm -hmm. yeah well, why did you guys pick pancakes in particular oh well, you know who doesn't like pancakes like it's just <laughs> a great food and we figured we could make a whole bunch so we could serve a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. And how many people in GFD are getting involved? Because I know from what I've heard, you know, interacting with you guys over email and everything, it seems like the entire agency is on board. Well, definitely. Um, actually, our, our supervisor, John Birch, is actually who brought up the idea to the 911 shifts. And of course, we were all for it. And then we went as far as pitching it to our OIC, Lieutenant Camacho, who was also all for it. And we went all the way to the top to Chief Joey St. Nicholas, and he's all for it. So, you know, honestly, the whole fire department is backing us on this project. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Now, Chris, what are you guys doing to get ready? When we get ready? Yeah. Because I know, you know, to be a firefighter, you have to be someone who's very, very compassionate for the community. You have to be very heroic. And everybody, you know, aspires to be a firefighter. Now you guys are being a hero in a much different and positive way. Well, we're with the, the 911 um, area. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're the, with the emergency medical dispatch. Mm -hmm. And so we're the 911. Uh, we're an entity of the, of the fire department. Mm -hmm. And so. And you guys are equally as heroic. <laughs> so thank you. Obviously, yeah. you guys are really excited about this too. Oh, we are. We yeah. Are. And so, um, you know, we're we're out here to take care of the community, and this is what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, where are you guys going to be, and what time, and wh when should people come? And if, if people want to, you know, come by, obviously there's going to be people that want to go down, <laughs> take pictures with you guys, say congratulations, oh. and you know the way we do things on the island. Hey. I brought some water for you guys because mm -hmm. I think what you're doing is incredible. Okay, well, we'll actually be at all four corners of the um, intersection that runs like, you know, Shirley's intersection, again, the library, that intersection. So we'll be at all four corners, and we'll be there starting around 7 a.m. until until we run out of pancakes, really, but probably around 9.30 mm -hmm. is when we're aiming to cut that. So. Okay. Any particular reason why you picked uh, that, that part of downtown? It's that's, just it's such a, a busy, it's a busy it's intersection. Location, um, it's an opportunity for us to give... Um, also to the homeless or the less fortunate, mm -hmm. um, and that's just a busy area in general. So mm -hmm. right here in the you know the heart of Agania. So yeah. well, Giving Tuesday, you know, a lot of people think it's it's this monumental effort where people have to go like you know above and beyond and you know bring um, you know hundreds of people gathered together from all different types of organizations. But it it can even be as simple as just one person doing a sim very simple gesture. And, right. and certainly what you guys are doing is incredible for the community. <laughs> or even if you uh, spent all your money today on Black Friday, you know. You, <laughs> You can give your time, you know, to help people. Just mm -hmm. something, you know, that it doesn't take money or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, what does it mean for both of you as, you know, as citizens of this wonderful island and everything like that to be able to do something like that and to give back and just tell people, hey, the agency I work for, we take care of people. We help people. I mean, we rescue people. It's really, it's fantastic because especially as dispatchers, we don't really get that face-to-face -face contact with the general public. You know, we hear you over the phone, of course. So just to be able to see somebody smile and, you know, just, just to be able to communicate with the public right there and then and just make their day, that's a beautiful thing and we're really excited about it. Yeah, it's, it's being a f member of GFD is not 
a job, it's a calling. Oh, definitely. <laughs> you know, what, what do you guys think about your role in the community? Like, um, the role? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's something you were born to do, obviously. Well, I mean, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I got to ask, do you know what type of pancakes you'll be, you'll be passing out? This is key. Buttermilk. <laughs> Buttermilk pancakes. All right. Yeah. Good choice. You know, very hearty, very filling, and yeah. generally loved. <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can't, can't go wrong with the tried and true classic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so is there anything else you'd like to add to people watching right now about how you guys are getting involved or what serving the community means to you? I mean, we're really excited, and we really want everybody to stop by if you can. And, well, really, you don't really have to stop. You just ride at the traffic light. We'll be there for you. Uh, we want to thank everybody that's assisted us. We've got some donations from Wendy's, from McDonald's, from, of course, the rest of the 911 dispatchers. We have off-shift dispatchers coming in early in the morning to cook these pancakes. Uh, just thank you for all the support, and we really hope to put some smiles on people's faces. Well, you guys never stop working, too. And you guys never <laughs> stop smiling. So we greatly appreciate on behalf of what we're doing for Giving Tuesday for working along with you to make the island a better place. Thank right. you for so, giving <laughs> us the opportunity to voice what we're doing and see you there right. next Tuesday. Well, thank you both. Happy holidays once more. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Please stay tuned, everybody. The show continues after this.